welcome back to um youtube and today i'm going to be showing you how to make a mini game in gimkit creative so there are just some settings Okay, so first thing, let's add a kind of background. So let's go with space and let's change the clock mode to count up so that it looks good. So obviously the first thing we need is a spawn pad which should probably be like around here next we want a way for the game to end so let's go up here and add a prop that we have to destroy Let's do the command table and let's enable to, in order to do this we have to change this to yes and let's set it so there's a thousand health and let's make it So, yeah, so now we need the game to end when this is destroyed, so we need to add an end game right next to it. Then we add a wire connecting this to this, and when the prop is destroyed, we will end the game. So now, we will need some walls. So let's add some terrain and let's have it as kind of side. So let's do italic. So we want this to be our wall so we can change it so that is kind of the starting area <coughs> and then we can make the pathway that goes forward so that we have to go all the way here in order to finish the game So, this is the last control. So, let's turn this off. And so, first, let's add some a weapon we can use. So, let's add a item spawner. or an item grantor so that at the beginning they will get a zapper and they will get one of these they will get let's add that so now we need a life cycle let's put that right there So let's test that out. So we get this. 
So if we go for, we can go here and we end up here. Okay, if we shoot at this, And the game finishes. So that's basically what we want. That's way too easy. So we have to add some guards. So first let's add some guards. So let's add a sentry here. Make it so that it does not respawn. Let's change the health to 200. And let's make it a guard. And the zapper is going to have an uncommon. So let's make a couple of these. Spread them across like that. Now you want to add some more stuff, so let's add some lasers. Let's put some right here and one right here and one right here. Center these. Okay, so now we need to add a couple things. Peter. And we need to duplicate this. And now we need another life cycle. First. We need to change this to two, to three, and this one to that, this one to five, and now. Get that that to that top repeater. Now we just need to add a bunch of wires. And then we need to just add all the wires to these things. Deactivate and the repeater runs. This one will be the same thing.
Okay, so now let's add some like lava pools or something. So let's take this and put some of this stuff. Wait. Make it a four. Let's add some extra this. Basically, yeah. And so now let's add a device. So respawn. So basically all you need is a couple of triggers and a respawn thing. So all you need is one tri couple of triggers, one for every tire tile. And you want to make two main th things. You want to Toggle this to no, and for configuration, you want to put yes, trigger by player collision, and then you would just add a wire from here to here, and do the only action possible. And you would just copy it and paste it until every tile filled so now that we have these triggers we can test it so this is the goal we start up with this we, if we hit this we die See you next time.